Hey guys, so I'm actually pretty excited for this new set. It is one of the, un, what's it called, unsanctioned. And I'm excited because I think the value of it will be something that we've never seen before. Now, when you talk about the unsanctioned, unglued, unhinged, the majority of the cards, I mean the foil cards, just because they're older foils, are valuable. Uh, back then, the foil would replace, so if you got a foil rare, you want to get a regular rare. And they're much older, and the ratio was far less common. You don't have collector's edition. So yeah, some unglued, some unhinged are, foils are quite expensive. But for the majority of the cards, they are very cheap because they're not playable. They're silver bordered and unplayable. Why I'm so excited, and I honestly cannot uh, tell you why, I think this is going to be the biggest fail of a Magic Gathering set. Now, yes, I agree with Mero, this product is not for everybody, but when you pay, you know, money for a product, you're hoping, you really are hoping that you do get some type of value. So Magic players, if you've ever been a game store owner or have tried to trade, I mean, some players will trade to the nickel. Uh, that's what they'll nickel and dime you. <laughs> they pull up their app. I remember uh, in the good old days of MTG Finance, and sometimes people went to get internet. Sometimes the convention center had, didn't have really good Wi. Didn't well, they didn't have Wi-Fi to begin with. But sometimes you wouldn't be able to get internet, and you would try to negotiate down to like a dollar or something, and then you had to throw in and something. Oh, the good old days of uh, trading magic. But yeah, Magic players do care a lot about value and especially about this type of product. This product is saved by the land. So the land is anywhere between a dollar to three dollars to four dollars. I mean, the land used to be very special. Nowadays, it is not. And if I were to be completely frank with you, this set will have the most dismal EV of any set in Magic history due to the land being a big issue. And I look forward to seeing how poorly this set does sell. Now, one of the main reasons that I think Mero is the main source of this set, so he's the kind of the clownish figure involved, and that's why he likes clown sets. However, let me just put it this way. This is not magic, and it's not funny, and it's not a joke, and actually the funny jokes now have been, how can I say it? Now social justice warriors have scrubbed all the funny jokes. So now everything is meant for like a 22-year-old trans non-binary individual to laugh at the joke. So this said... I think it's going to fail. Now, of course, certain YouTubers, one in particular, is going to sell you this set, saying it's the best thing since sliced bread, but let me tell you, he was wrong about Pharos, and why, why would he not be wrong here? This set, the expected value is 100% in the land slot. The lands look really gross. And given the fact that full art lands are not special anymore, and it's not going to be rare. I don't see this product having any. I mean, you thought Pharos was bad. Whoa. Unsanctioned is going to be something out of a nightmare. If you care about value. Now, of course, Mero's excuse is, oh, well, no one needs to care about value. But that's not true. The Magic the Gathering from the Commander decks to the Brawl decks, everything has a value. They fully understand the secondary market so for them to make this choice of not allowing the lands to be valuable i mean foil unhinged lands what do they go for like 40 dollars or something like crazy 80 dollars maybe like if for an island they're beautiful they're stunning i think they're john avons and unglued has really i mean they didn't have foil land and unglued because foils were not invented back then it was during i remember I had the choice of buying Urza Saga or Unglued, and I kept buying Unglued for some reason. 
<laughs> it's so dumb. Right? I'm pretty sure they came out the same time, or at least the GameStop I used to go to always had it. it you either buy Urza Saga packs or you buy Unglued. And that was their two options. And of course, I picked Unglued because I was, what was I, in middle school? I think I was seventh grade at the time. So yeah, these cards, obviously not playable. There's not really much that um, we need to go over. And not only are they not playable, they're just not funny anymore. They took the jokes, they took the funny memes, and they picked non-binary versions of them. I'm really trying to stay away from, I guess, my non-binary discussions because I felt a few of you felt uncomfortable. But basically, that's how I view this set. They could have just called this set non-binary and it would make more sense to me than calling it unsanctioned. You know what? I'm going to name this set non-binary. From here on out, I'm going to talk about the value of the non-binary Magic the Gathering set. Now, the jokes, again, not really funny. You could have made a rooster joke, you know, about, you know, a certain object in the mail. But, of course, we cannot have that. We, I mean, there's so many things where... I think you can see where magic is going in terms of artwork. For instance, the angels now are fully clothed and fully armored. Sarah Angel, uh, the angels of Teresa Nielsen and Rachel Rebecca Gua, Gray. I think her name is Gray. I think it's pronounced Gray, but I want to say Guav. So what is the truth about um, a set with really funny jokes for social media warriors that don't have any money to buy the set? It will fail. Let me repeat again. This set will absolutely flop, flop, flop because you know why it's going to flop? Let me explain. The jokes are not funny. The artwork is very poorly constructed. And then there's reprints too. I don't even want to talk about this right now. And the artwork, the land in the artwork will be worthless. So what is there? I'm actually really looking forward to the set uh, launch and the expected value and all these really fun stuff. Because I'm almost certain that this will be one of the worst sets in Magic Gathering history. I, I know it's going to be the worst set in terms of uh, Eve expected value. But that's not um, why. That's not why, right? So I'm going to go ahead and say that Wizard of the Coast is extremely woke. And when woke people make a joke set, that is not funny. It is not funny at all. Uh, one of the other things that I'm going to go ahead and say is I think from this point on, everyone should just call this non-binary. Also, there's um, the year of autumn. There is a very interesting um, article about her. Magic is not a meritocracy. MTG is not an even playing field. Not yet. Discrimination against women and magic is real. So is bias against black people, trans folks, non-binaries, and anyone else who isn't part of the majority. It's all of our jobs to do better. So that's the people making the jokes. Remember, if your joke is too, too bad, they will ban you. That's why we can't have funny jokes. So when you made a whole set where the whole point is funny jokes, um, honestly, you're pretty uh, not funny. You're, you're pretty not funny. And that's why... I don't know. There's a lot of things about the MPL that really annoy me. Uh, Reed Duke's brother is an employee of Wizard of the Coast. We had that one really bad employee go play and then lose. Uh, Emma Handy is uh, given was given a special invite even though she was dating a player of the Magic Play Design team. I know I'm kind of going off... Um, 
I'm kind of going off the rails here, but I just can't stop talking. I mean, I just can't keep thinking about it. But I will tell you one thing is ever since I sold the majority of my collection, I'm not going to tell you what, I, I kept my modern decks and EDH decks. So I still have a collection, a very sizable collection. And I just couldn't tear them apart. I felt so much better because I don't need to read things about the MPL. The MPL does not affect me in any way. I just totally ignore it. My local game store does not affect me in any way. I just totally ignore them. And as long as you play magic with your friends, that's it. I mean, honestly, that's it. You don't need anyone else because everyone else kind of just sucks. So I basically named this magic set non-binary. Nice. Bye, guys.